Hi, welcome to ZGAD Review. Welcome to more CES 2021 coverage. This time LG has announced what the next edition of their smart TV platform is going to look like. This will be LG's Web OS 6.0. And they have made some, I will say, big changes to the platform. LG hasn't released any information on their OLED TVs or their LED TVs. We do know that they're going to come out with their mini LED TVs that they announced before and the bendable OLED TV. And you can see those videos on the playlist up here. Monday is when they're actually going to give us more information on their new OLED TVs and other devices. They are giving us a little glimpse into the future with their LG Web OS 6.0. And I have to say from what I'm seeing here, I'm not very happy. Now, if you use LG TVs, you are familiar with WebOS and you know that the whole idea of WebOS was for it to be intuitive and inobtrusive, which is why LG always kept their smart TV information at the bottom in, in a line, as you can see in these images. So you will be able to continue watching whatever it was that you were watching and engage with their smart TV platform. But it looks like the big change that they're making now is that WebOS 6.0 is going to actually cover the whole screen with information, meaning that if you are in the middle of watching something, you are pretty much out from whatever you're watching in order to engage with the platform. And I think that one of the reasons is uh, based on this new image they are looking at, is that they're trying to include a lot more information on the screen than they did before. So for example, here you can see obviously all the apps that they have available, which by the way, kind of looks like what Visio has. Like it literally looks like Visio's platform, at least that row. And here's a picture of what Visio's platform looks like. But if we go back to the image, as you can see, they are providing you information here. They have the weather. Obviously they have, uh, looks what it's going to look like ads on the left top corner. Then in the middle, you're going to have what looks like to me, um, smart home functions because that's something that LG is also going towards is using your TV as a smart home hub. They kind of did that last year with their platform. They had a special location where you could go and control lights and things like that. But it looks like they are bringing this more towards the forefront of what your TV can do by giving you this window that shows the weather and it looks like there's going to be more information there at the bottom. Then I guess uh, search in order to search for content Then that recommending content there and then your row of apps. I personally do not like this look. I don't like it. I I personally, I am disappointed if this is what WebOS is going to look like on the upcoming TVs that they are going to release. I don't know. I, I personally think that is a mistake. The other big surprise that they have, and I'm going to say surprise in quotations because this isn't something that I like either. Don't like it. Is they're going to be changing their uh, magic remote. So if you are familiar with what the magic remote looks like, here it is. So this is the design of the magic remote that they had for a few years now. It's been pretty much unchanged for a few years. If you notice, it's kind of skinny on the top and it has a little, it's kind of like fat at the bottom. It's like a kind of looks like it has a pouch. And being a guy, I'm used to handling pouches and it makes me feel at home. But seriously, uh, that, that, so obviously you hold the remote from the thicker area of the remote. And if you're not familiar with uh, what a magic remote does is you move it around and a cursor appears on, on the screen and you can control the cursor by just moving the remote. And it's very intuitive. It, it works great. Actually, once you start using a magic remote, personally, it makes you spoil because is something that you would like all the remotes to be able to do and they don't 
LG is the only manufacturer that I know of that has this feature. And the remote, you know, works well, feels good in the hand. It looks premium. The way it's built, the, the type of plastic that they use makes the remote look premium. They are changing the remote to this new form factor that really kind of takes away from the premium look of what the Magic Remote was. And um, it looks like it's going to be skin is supposed to be it looks like it's supposed to be more ergonomically made i guess we'll see what this new remote looks like in person what it feels like in person hopefully lg didn't go and messed with something that was working for years and tried to reinvent the wheel on something that they probably didn't need to reinvent so it looks like they added more new hotkeys so before the magic remote had the netflix and prime video buttons that was it or hotkeys and obviously that took you directly to your netflix app or to your prime video app in this case they're adding disney plus to the remote because i'm assuming disney plus is huge and i also paid a lot of money to lg in order to be able to be on the remote so we have an extra button there and they're also adding in lg channels so yeah this is the new magic remote by lg I don't like it. One cool feature that they are adding though that I think is really really good cool is that some of these remotes they haven't specified which models are going to be able to do this but you're going to have NFC connectivity directly on the remote. What this means is if you have NFC capabilities on your smartphone and you have content that you want to show on the TV all you have to do is tap the remote to your phone in order to show that content on screen which is a lot more convenient than walking up to the tv and you know touching the phone to the actual tv like some manufacturers do so this actually is a lot more convenient if you are someone who does that hopefully more manufacturers will bring to the remotes so there you have it this is some of the new stuff that tvs coming out this year will have stay tuned here on monday we'll have more information on what lg is going to show up so come back for that are you a person who's been using lg web os for some time what do you think of this new web os what do you think about the new magic remote these are big changes that lg is making on their platforms let me know in the comment section that's it for me go ahead and subscribe give us a thumbs up it really helps the channel go ahead and hit that bell so you can be alerted every time we have new videos and thank you very much for watching